Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing great, Rafael. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Welcome. Welcome to this new module. I see you are the only one connected. <laughs> <laughs> only me. <laughs> What happened? What happened with I your other what students? Happened. What's going on? Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> so, my name is Kalev. I'm going to be uh, with you in these next four weeks. Okay. So, it's going to be very, very interesting to, to share with you and to, to help you uh, in any way I can with your English skills. How Thank are you, you doing, Rafael? I'm fine. I have a, I had a good day, but I'm tired, but I'm ready for the class. I'm glad, I'm glad to hear that. So <laughs> you actually work, you had a working day, kind of busy today, and um, now you're ready for your English session. That sounds great. Yes. I can see now Mr. Irving Del Cid joining the class. Yes. Can you hear us? Can you listen? Can you hear? Yes. Hi there, Irving. Nice to meet you. Welcome to your new class. Nice to meet you, teacher. Tell us about you. Well, um... I have been studying a little bit uh, about English the last couple of weeks, and I hope to to improve my English in this uh, module. All right, that sounds great. That sounds great. I can I can hear you very well. I understand you very well. Uh, tell me, Rafael, what is something special about you? Well, I work. In Pollo Real, uh, I have been there um, for 20 years, about. Alive. Uh, <laughs> alive, yes. Uh, I am a marketing. Uh, I have two children, one daughter and one son. My daughter is in the university. She is 21 years old, and my son study in a, a Germany school. She is 12 years old, and my wife is a teacher. She's a teacher? Yes, she's a teacher. What classes? What class does she teach? Kinder teacher. All right, so she works with children. Yes, yes. I like the airplane. Uh, I, am, I am a pilot. And I like to take uh, photos. It's a hobby for me. What else? I <laughs> like the, the cars. <laughs> racing cars or racing classic cars. cars? Hi, good classic evening. Welcome. And racing cars. All right. It's good to know about you. It's good to know a little bit more about you. I believe that, you know, when you have a class, it's, it's not only about teaching certain subject, but also to, to get to know a little bit. And that's what it makes it interesting. I'm very glad to know a little bit more about you. It sounds Thank very you. fun. Very fun. Very interesting. <laughs> All right. So let's say welcome to Sofia Calderon. Hello there. Hello, teacher. Hi there, Sofia. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Um, sorry, I can't hear. You can't hear me? Uh, I said, welcome to our class and nice to meet you. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Nice to meet you, teacher. What's your name? Nice to meet you. My name is Kalev. Caleb Nunez. Well, in English is Nunes, right? <laughs> so it's kind of Brazilian in, in English, right? But 
my name is Kalev, so you can call me Kalev, teacher Kalev. Uh, the name of the Bible. Bible. Oh, so you have read the Bible, huh? Yes. That's great. Yes, it's found in Joshua 15. There you will find my name, chapter 15 to be exact. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome everyone. I'm so excited about teaching an advanced module between us, you know, a secret between us. I've been teaching a lot of basic and intermediate. So finally, I got you guys. And that is very, very motivating for me. So what is something special about you, Sophia? What is something special about you? Um, I like cook. <laughs> you like cooking? Cooking. Um, special um, dessert. Pasta. Nice, nice. Okay, so you like cooking, especially desserts. Okay, noted, noted, okay, thank you. <laughs> well, let's say welcome to who else? Let's see, Monica Mugia, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Good evening, welcome to your class. Tell us about you, how are you doing? Good evening, good evening. I'll be trying to use my headphone, so I don't know if you can hear me. I can hear you. Oh, okay, great. Uh, actually, nice to meet you. I never see you before. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Um, well, I've been around, I've been around, and well, something about me, this is my second, this is my second time working for Inglés Corporativo. So it's actually a big, big honor to be able to work with you, to be with you, to help you, and um, well, to have fun during these next four weeks. Nice. Congratulations. Uh, actually, about me, at this moment, at the same time that I've been receiving the class, <laughs> I've been working and I've been studying my technical career. So I've been doing many things at the same time. So Multitask. Yeah. You are multitask. Multi yeah. And also I've been a mom. So <gasps> I, okay. I need to be in many places, thinking many different things at the same time. So, yeah. You're a superwoman, let's say. Yeah, <laughs> I've been a superwoman, can I say that? So, well, about me, um, my name is Monica Munguia. I, ha I have been studying in English Corporativo since the last year. Mm -hmm. I can remember actually how many um, months I have been studying the English. So... Okay. I let me think because I started with the intermediate pre, pre intermediate no, no, number three. So I have a very, I have an, a time studying here. At, at the same time, I be studying my technical career that is business administration and my strategic, strategic marketing. Okay. And, Okay, now you're breaking up. Yeah, yeah, in teleperformance, I'm gonna start working. So I'd be so excited, I'd be nervous, I'd be, I don't know, I don't know who, what to expect about working. So it's my first time since two years ago because, you know, I'd be coming as a mom, I, be, I get pregnant, and, you know, the motherhood no was easier for me, so yeah. you know that. And wow. yeah, at the same time, like Sophia, I love to cook. Actually, I mm. enjoy spend my time watching videos uh, how to prepare Mexican food. I oh my god, I enjoy it so much that I can see how many time I spend watching videos. So yeah, there's a bit a little about myself. Good enough. 
you tell me a lot and I have like a little picture uh, in my head about you. Uh, <laughs> pretty much and most important, uh, uh, you know, a very hardworking woman and very active <laughs> person. So nice to meet you. It will definitely be my pleasure to help you and to have fun during this session. And yeah, nice to meet you too, teacher. All right, great. So we'll be seen around. Let's see. Now let's say welcome here, Mr. Javier Ulloa. Is that you, Mr. Javier? Hello? Good evening, sir. How are you doing? Good evening, teacher. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, sorry, teacher. Uh, uh, Voy entrando, no, no sé oh, cómo, we're just cómo saying hello, we're just saying hello, saying hello, saying your, your introduction, your name, a little information about you, because, you know, it's the first time I see you, so I want to know a little bit more about you. Okay, thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Javier Ulloa. I am 36 years old. I work at Primar El Salvador. I am engineer system in, engineer system. Uh, my goal in this uh, in this class is I speak English, I speak English fluency, went fluently. Fluently, okay. Fluently. So improve okay. your fluency. You want to improve your fluency skills. Yes. Great, great. So El, um, if you want to, well, if that's your goal, that's great because you can achieve it by practicing and practicing all over again. And that's what we're going to do here, okay? <laughs> okay Welcome, you, Javier. Thank you. All right, let's see. I can see Miss Naomi Yesenia Ramirez. Hello there, Miss Naomi. Hi, teacher. Small it's world. It's to see you again. Small world, huh? Yeah. Tell us about you, Miss Naomi. Tell us about it. <laughs> okay, my name is Noemi. I am 33 years old. And I am happy to be here. And I also, I am happy because uh, you going be the teacher it's a pleasure for me thank you wow you're gonna make me blush you're gonna make me blush <laughs> Why? well what happens guys is that uh, noemi was a previous student so that was back in i don't know two years ago maybe no. um, Maybe yeah. less, maybe more. I don't know. I'm bad with five years. Five years ago? Wow, wow. imagine. So I think I, I, I taught you basic, pretty much basic level, right, Noemi? So now you're in advance. That is very, very uh, admirable. And it's, it's amazing to see that you have been constant and persistent. In order for you to be bilingual and in order for you to express your ideas clearly and fluently, you have to be constant. It doesn't matter how long it will take. What it matters is that you keep moving forward and, and that you keep correcting your mistakes and that you keep learning from other people and practicing, you know, that way uh, you will be able to succeed in this language. So I'm very happy to see that. I'm very happy for you. Thank you, teacher. All right, awesome. Let's see now, let's talk to Mr. Francisco Ernesto Lopez Ventura. Hello, gentlemen, welcome to our session. Come on in. <laughs> you might want to activate your microphone, Francisco. There you go. Good evening, everyone. Yes, welcome, sir. Uh, nice to meet you. My name is Eco Lopez. Uh, I live in San Salvador. I am uh, 48 old, 40 years, 48 old, 
and I have a song in uh, I, I, I started I started studying English in last November in, in English, English Corporativo. Really? Uh, I like uh, I like too much uh, English language. You do, huh? Uh, I I like the the English language, and and, and nice to meet you. It's an honor. It's a pleasure. It's it's very um lovely for a teacher to see people that really have big goals. I'm honored to be part of this class to see students that they do have a goal, right? And, and that they, they do have their dreams, you know, very well established. So to me, it's definitely uh, very um, motivating to be with you guys. So let's move on. Let me see who else. I think that's all. Is that all? Irvin, Monica, Francisco, Javier, Noemi, Rafael, and Sofia. Yeah. So you are only seven students. Is that how you have been, or you have you have more classmates? Do you know? We are 20, 26, 24. Wow, you're supposed to be like more than 20 and we're not even the half. Okay, that's a bad start. <laughs> that's a bad start. I mean, not for you. You started with the right foot, you know, connecting yourself on the very first day. And, you know, this is an opportunity uh, provided by Insafor. So if you are enrolled in this program, you have to honor this program. You have to connect to the class. You have to have your camera activated. You have to participate and give your best, right? I can see another classmate coming in here. Mauricio Morales, welcome. Good Hello, evening. How are nice you? to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Tell us about the problem, your sir. The problem is that, hello, the problem is that it's raining today. It, is that's, it? Yeah, it's raining today, and so, so that's the that's the reason that all that were classmates or the ah, uh, connect. That's the reason I, I for the so. delay. Yes, that's the reason for the delay. I get it now. Thank you, Mauricio. Tell us about you, Mauricio. Um. Well, it's uh. Uh, I work in insurance and uh, I am a broken insurance broker. Uh, I have a uh, 59 years old and I have three children and um, what else? No children, that's are very, they're adult right now. Grown Not, adults they are, already. For me are children. For me are children. For you, so, they will but, be children uh, forever. I think so. There's <laughs> no children, but I think so. Let's be our children too. And right. uh, and what else? Well, I'm I'm trying to not forget not not forget my little English. So I'm trying to all the time remember a new words or to have a practice will my classmate. Staying connected with anything that has to do with the language is gonna keep you there, right? As uh -huh. long as you keep connection with the language, you will be fine, Mauricio. Problem is when we I don't practice, so. right? Problem is, yeah. is when we forget, you know, two days, five days, and we don't touch anything, we don't learn anything, mm, that's a problem mm -hmm. when we get a stock. So, it's important to keep connected. Well, I think we are all set. Let me see Francisco. Yeah, we have Francisco, okay. So we're going to get started, ladies and gentlemen, with your advanced class. Um, so what is your name? What is your name, teacher? 
My name, oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I'm Kalev. My name is Kalev, okay? Nice to meet Kalev. you all. Uh, nice to meet you. Kalev. Yes, in English is Caleb. If you guys, you guys, before we start, you might have a question for me. You might want to ask me something. Uh, Caleb. Where, you are here in El Salvador or where? I'm here in El Salvador. I'm in the capital ah. city of your country. Okay. No, I, see, I have a, I have a teacher. Uh, we have a teacher that where he, he had a, uh, he living in Argentina. Really? So, see, yeah, he live in Argentina, and he gave us he gave the class uh, for all us. For that's the reason I asked that. I don't. Where I'm, are, I'm very happy to hear that. In El Salvador or another country. That's uh -huh. that's great because you experience different kind of methodologies and 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 accents, right? It's very mm -hmm. healthy for you to have different teachers. That's why I, go ahead. Are you, are you single? Myself? Yes, you? Yes, wow. I'm single. <laughs> well, not single, my, my dad is next door, so. <laughs> but I just, yeah, I live with my dad. And I am 37 years old. And by the way, you say I am when you say your age, right? You don't say I have, right? You say I am, right? So um, I have some goals just like you. I have a lot of goals. I have a lot of dreams. And one of my goals is that I want to uh, get to, you know, travel to the United States and get my master's degree. Uh, because I have my, I'm an English teacher, right? But I need to get my licenture. I need to finish my licenture. So after that, I can travel to the States to get my master's degree. That's my dream to get my master's degree there in the United States. In what? I think, in your master's degree in what? In English. In English, ah, in English. Yes, ah, okay. I love the language, Mauricio. You don't know how many things this language has given to me. It is very uh, surprising um, the way um, I was able to acquire the English language because I started very late, you know, learning English. I didn't uh, study English since I was a little kid, you know, I just started very late and um, I was able to do it. I was able to do it. And um, because of that, I have had so many opportunities. I have been here and there because of the language. And I want to, I want to get more, you know? I think there is a lot of room of opportunities as long as you, you know, become bilingual. So, yeah. Know. Yeah. You are right. Thank you, sir. So let's talk about relative pronouns. That's the first topic today. Before getting to business, let's warm up a little bit. Relative pronouns. They are used to kind of connect one and two ideas, right? Do you know anyone? Do you, I mean, do you know any um, um, relative pronoun? And who and that and with and I don't know. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Sophia. Who is one of them? Who and that are the two principal ones that we're going to study? Okay. And just to make sure, I'm going to I'm going to use the chat right now. Just to make sure who refers to a person, right? Okay. What about, what about whom? A W H O M, whom? Whom? To win? Whom? No. Whom <laughs> refers to a person too, okay? It's the same. <laughs> the same. Yeah. Right. Right. All right. Right. Mm -hmm. Something else, additionally, we can say which, 
which is another one, okay? But which refers to an animal or a thing, as you know. Then I can mention to you what. What refers to a non-living thing. We're going to, I'm going to show you a couple of examples. So then we can see our presentation. Okay, the last one I wanna let you know, it's that. That refers to a person, animal, or thing. And these are relative pronouns, okay? So far so good? Yes. Okay, let's go over some examples. Let's go over some examples, okay? Um, I'm going to chat a couple of examples so we can analyze them together. First example, let me see. Rafael, can you help us reading that chat for us? Can you see it? The chat? Yep. Are you able yes. to see the chat? Who? Go ahead. The last one, the last one. The, the last one. The woman who came to the door left flower for you. Okay. What is, do you identify the relative pronoun in that example? Yes, no, maybe. What is the relative pronoun? Mm, let me see. Guys, what is it? It's who? It's who? 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 Correct. Remember, the woman is a person. So who is the one we use with a person? All right, next example. Uh, let me see, we're gonna ask help to Javier. Javier, help us reading the last chat, go ahead. Okay, teacher, it is, it is what you were talking about. I'm sorry, could you repeat that again? It is what you were talking, talking about. Say, is this, is it's this, yes what yes. you were talking about could you repeat is this what you were talking about what what is mm -hmm. for non living uh, things relative right? pronouns. it's the relative pronouns that's right is this what you were talking about pronunciation um your intonation rising intonation right is this what you were talking about? All right. Now, Mauricio is gonna help us reading the next example and you need to identify the relative pronoun. Go ahead. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, teacher. Uh, I'm not in... I am not in the in the in the in the chat. You uh, are in the meeting, aren't you? I am in I am only I am only connect, but not I don't have the I am not in the in the is this chat, Mauricio, in this chat, in this class chat, there is an option for you to check the chat. Where? Look for the option. It has like a little, like a little symbol of a message. It says chat, so you click on it, and it pulls up all the chats. Yeah. Do you see it? Ah, oh yeah, yeah, yes. Okay. Can you read the last one? The last. Ah, chat? the last one. Mm -hmm. She, she finally visited. She finally visited the coffee shop that had sucks great reviews. Correct. Such great reviews. Such great reviews. Such great reviews. Do you understand the example? Can you identify the relative pronoun? Uh, no. She, no. She finally visited the coffee shop that, uh, where relative is that? Correct. Uh huh. That has, that has such great reviews. 
have had such great reviews. Uh, yeah, so, I understand it. So, so it's a place where she actually finds a lot of fun, right? She really finds the place very enjoyable. So she visits this place often, right? Mm -hmm. And that is the relative pronoun. It's referring to a thing in this, in this case, right? To this location. All right, I like that, I like that. Let's go ahead and check the next example. Teacher, go ahead. And um, I don't know, the, the verb is in past. The verb in that case was in simple past because it's an action that is done. It's an action that finished. Um, All right. So I could write, um, only in past. No, not necessarily. It can be in any kind of tense, not only in simple past. Not only in past. For example, let me let me give you another example. <laughs> let me give you another example in simple present. Okay, simple present. Okay, Sophia, help us read in this example in the last chat, please. The teacher. That gives out candy is always the student's favorite. Do you understand that example? Yes. <laughs> it's true. It's true or false? True. I it's do true. work with my daughter because I'm the teacher. <laughs> so what is the relative pronoun in that case? That gives that okay that okay we're talking about a thing right we're talking about candies all right so that's a little that's a little introduction about what we're going to see today okay let me share right now the presentation with you and please let me know can you visualize my screen can you visualize my screen now yes yes all right, yeah, perfect, sure. perfect, thank you. So as you see, by the end of this lecture, participants will be able to use relative pronouns, who and that, okay? These are the basic ones, let's say, or the, easy, the easiest. So let's watch this video, okay? Let's check. Hello, everyone. In this class, you learn how to describe the kind of people you like to hang around with. For example, I like friends who aren't too serious. You'll learn how to use the relative pronouns who or that. Now, let me get started by presenting the structure. We'll do a few examples, and at the end of the class, I would like for you to practice by making your own examples. Let me talk about the first example that you see here, relative pronouns as subjects. So in essence, what we want to do in this class is we want to take two pieces of information. For example, I like guys. They aren't too serious. That's the second piece of information. And what we want to do is we want to combine these two pieces of information. And we do this by using the relative pronouns. We're either going to use who or that to combine those two pieces of information. So at the end, what the sentence is going to look like is, I like guys who aren't too serious. Or you could say, I like guys that aren't too serious. I'm going to write down those examples to make sure that we're understanding the process. The first example states, I like guys they aren't too serious. And what we do is, if you notice in gray up here, and I actually colored that in blue in the bottom, because that's what I want to focus on. Um, here, this statement here could vary, it could change to different things, right? Like you can say, I like guys, I like friends, okay? I like people. So that could vary, you could change that to whatever you want. You can have another phrase there, like, 
I uh, like to hang around people, I like to be with friends, etc. That phrase could change, not just necessarily I like guys. And then they aren't too serious. Um, in this case, I want you to notice that we're using adjectives. All right? So whenever you use adjectives, what you're going to have in this uh, second statement is going to be uh, the verb to be either positive or negative. Okay? Um, and, then the, and then that's going to follow the adjective. And so what I want you to notice at this time is how we take these two pieces of information and we combine them together with the usage of the relative pronouns who or that. So let me give that example now. I like guys who aren't too serious. I like guys that aren't too serious. Now, what I want to explain here is that you can either use the relative pronoun who or you can use the relative pronoun that. And also what I want you to notice is that in um, this statement, so they will disappear. The pronoun here is they that disappear. And we changed it to they uh, to and we changed it to who or we changed it to that. Okay, so I like guys who aren't too serious. This is on our first example. Let me talk about the second example now. And the reason this one is different is because we're no longer going to use adjectives. Uh, so that changes a little bit. Uh, but again, it's the same concept as previously. What we want to do here is we want to combine two pieces of information. What are those two pieces of information? Well, I like guys. That's one piece of information. And then they have a good sense of humor. Now, in this case, notice that we're using a verb. Um, and that's because we're using a noun to uh, mention the kind of people that we like to hang around with. So I like guys or I like friends. I mentioned that you can change this to whatever you like. Um, that phrase could change to something else as well. So I like the way that you would change this is to say something similar will happen. And that is that uh, the uh, pronoun on the second uh, piece of information will disappear. And that will disappear by either who or by using that. So in other words, the statement will state, I like guys that have a good sense of humor, or I like guys who have a good sense of humor. Now let me get you to do a few examples. I'm, we're going to do one last one together, and then I'm going to have you do a few more. We want to take these two pieces of information. I like to meet people. They are sociable. So we got two pieces of information, and what we want to do here is we want to put these two together. We're just going to remove the pronoun they, and we're going to change it for a relative pronoun, either who or that. So that was quite simple. I like to meet people who are sociable. And I mentioned you can either say, I like to meet people that are sociable. Or. All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, go ahead and prepare your examples. I want you to use uh, either who or that on an example, okay? Can you be able to make or uh, let's say prepare one example for us using a relative pronoun? Who has one example already? Do you have it in mind or? Can you prepare it, please? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. We can make it together if you wish so, right? If you think it's a little tricky. <laughs> All right. If we talk about places to visit, right? We can say, I like to visit places. Yeah. I like to visit places. And what can you use? Can you help me with the rest? I like to visit places. Uh huh. That. That are. Uh, you can say I like to visit places that are. Um, how can I say like, naturales? I don't know. Yes, that are surrounded, surrounded around, you know, surrounded of nature, 
I'm surrounded like, uh, of nature. Uh, I like visit uh, places that that are with many forests. I don't know something like that. Yeah, absolutely excellent. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. <laughs> next example. Next example. Can you make your own examples? Can you make your own examples? Even if you know it's not really true for you, but can you try to give one example using a relative pronoun, either who or that? Talking about what people, talking about places, anything. Oops. Okay. Hope you're making your own examples. I think that we are nervous. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Um, who and the, or that? In the case that who and that is the same for a person. Yes, you can use it for a person. You can use either one for a But person. if I want to like, because I know that who is something like more for person and also Specific. that, but yeah. And also because I can, I want to say like, I really enjoy watching videos that be about Mexican food or it's necessary to say that who, because I, I grammarly, I think that I am gonna use that. Yeah, right? in that case you have to use that because it's not really a person related. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Sometimes you can use either or, but depending the context, sometimes you are forced to use that. Yeah. Check my example, the pants, the pants that I bought yesterday are already stained. The pants that I bought yesterday, right? Um, you can use it in simple past. You can use it in simple, pe simple present. There's no a specific rule for that, okay? Okay. I'm all ears, I'm all ears. <laughs> Take your yeah. time. Teacher, can I say, I, I like to work with a responsible people who be punctual? Correct, who, who, who are? Who are punctual? Who are? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Can you can you repeat that example for us? Right. I like to work with a responsible people who are punctual. Me too. Me too. I like to work with <laughs> responsible people that are punctual, yes, that are definitely reliable, right? That's true, that's true. Uh, thank you for your example so much, using that in that case, okay? Thank you so much, I'm waiting for the rest, go ahead. The sure. medicine, the medicine okay. that I took yesterday, uh, was very amarga. I don't know how do you say that. I don't know how do you say it. it was very uh, bad taste. Okay, okay, okay. The medicine that I took yesterday, that's a good mm -hmm. one. The medicine that I took yesterday was very, uh, had very, oh, was was uh, very had a, a bad taste, bad tasting. Uh, had a bad taste. Um, a you bad can taste. also say, uh, you know, the opposite of sweet, right? What is the opposite of sweet? Bitter. Opposite of sweet is bitter. Bitter, which means like amargo, right? A bitter. Ah, okay. Bitter. Mm -hmm. bitter. So can you can you uh, repeat your example for everyone? Um, the medicine, the medicine that I took yesterday was 
uh, very bitter. Very bitter. Okay, it was very bitter. So not not good at all. I mean, talking about flavor. <laughs> okay, mm. pretty much most medicine are like that. It's like that, right, Mauricio? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for that example. Thank you, Mauricio. Somebody else. Uh, I, I, la I like to go place that are clean. Very well. I like to go to places. Can you repeat? I like to go places that are clean. Excellent. I like to go to places. Go to, right? I like to go to. I, I like to go to places that are clean. Go to. Definitely, I agree with you. That's a that's a true example. That's a true example. Yeah, definitely. Especially now, right? With the virus situation going on, everything must be clean. I'm waiting for your example. Go ahead. Thank you, Sophia. Go ahead. Uh, I have an example, but I don't Please. know if it's good. I have a pet that aren't like children. You said you have a pet? I have a pet. So it's that one pet, are... right? It's one pet? The one. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead. That aren't like children. Okay, because it's one pet, you will say isn't. Um... Mm -hmm. uh, is. <laughs> uh -huh, because it's one pet, right? So you have one pet that isn't like isn't isn't uh, a, like a child. Is that what you said? Yes. No le gustan los niños. All right, all right. Thank you so much, Sophia. Somebody else? Somebody else? Hurry up because I have a dynamic for you to finish the class and I need your participation at the end. Uh-huh, people who owe me examples. Go ahead. I like people that I can trust in all moments. You like people that you can trust. Awesome, awesome, definitely. So you like people that you can trust. That's difficult to see nowadays, but it's definitely uh, possible, right? There are many people around, you know, that still are truthful, reliable. Good, thank you, Ms. Naomi. Yes, I have an experience with that. Really? Can you tell us about it, Sophia? Because I am a person that, hello, how are you? And I embrace the people. Social, I very social. Uh, and I confuse with a person. And because, and she begin to, to pedir. Ask you know, for no money ask for money. money she starts asking you ask for money yes and looking for money she's lending money <laughs> she's lending money okay okay <laughs> because i always i have where you and kiss kiss yeah Bye. it's true because you're very friendly, you're very sociable. People tend to switch that, you know, into their convenience. <laughs> Thank you. With the money, because I don't have money. Yeah, be careful. Stay out of trouble, you know. Francisco, problem. let me hear Francisco. Do you have an example? Thank you, Sophia. Yes, teacher, I have an example. Please go ahead. Um, I, I like the people uh, who are very polite. Okay, I like I like people. Say I like people. 
I like people uh, who are very polite. Me too. Me too. I like that example. Thank you, Francisco. Okay. I like people that are very polite. Are like people who are very polite. Very nice. Somebody mm -hmm. else? Irvin, Monica, do you have something? I don't yes. understand. You don't understand? I don't understand for like people. What is the meaning? I'm sorry. The last part. Can you repeat the last part, Monica? Polite. Polite people. Polite. Oh, polite. Polite means polite means someone that is very educated. Someone that has good manners. Yeah? Someone that is very, very uh, educated. I can't speak right now. Oh, okay, Monica, I understand. I understand, Monica. Irving, do you have something for us? Yes, uh, I like people who have different points of view. Mm, I like that one too. I like that one too. Awesome. Good example, Irving, good example. <laughs> All right. Can you help me completing the following examples, class? Can you help me completing the following examples? Give me your own ideas. For example, I like to read books. I like to read books. Continue with the rest. Help me. I like that, to read books. That are very interesting. Awesome. Books that are very interesting. Okay, next. I love to eat food. I love to eat food. That is delicious. That is delicious. Awesome. Okay, your bean is on fire. <laughs> All right, next. I like neighbors that are very social. That are very social. That's true. All right. All right. I like neighbors that are very social. Okay. Nice. Nice. I like parties. There are many funny. That are so much funny or so much fun. That are so much fun. Yes? Okay. I like parties that are so much fun. I go, I go to restaurants. I go to restaurants. There. How good service. Yeah, really service. Oh. I go to restaurants. <clears throat> that are good service. That have. Have good service. That have good service. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, okay. Next example. Uh, you can you can repeat that, please? Yes. Yes, let's repeat the example. I go, I go to restaurants. I go to restaurants. I go to restaurants. Yes. That have a, that have a good service. That have a good service. So that Javier have was putting the have have food. R, R is not applicable, right? R is not applicable in that case, but the verb have, that have a good have service. A good service. Uh -huh. Yes, uh -huh. that have good service. I like to buy clothes. Ladies, ladies, especially you. That I like to buy clothes. Go ahead. That be very cheaper. Yes, yeah, cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I shopping like that. Center. One. In shopping center. <laughs> Offers. <laughs> Wait, we cannot, <laughs> we cannot do promotions here. <laughs> Right. That was very fun. 
Okay. I like to watch movies. I like to watch movies. On weekends. No. Wait, wait, you need a relative <laughs> right now. <laughs> I like to watch movies. That or who? That be interesting, but I don't know if here we can explain about what kind of movie. Because I want to say I like to watching. No, who I was? like to watch. I like to watch movies. I like to watch movie that being that are about, that are that are about yes that are about I don't know war uh, about war about, about war yeah about um how can I say sure. I what's up uh, Javier adventure Adventure, adventure. adventure. That okay. you can say, I like to watch movies Scary. that are about adventure. About adventure. About adventure. That are about. Okay. I like music. Listen, I like music. That I can dance. No. That I can dance. Woo, nice. Yeah. I like music that I can dance. <laughs> I like music that I can relax with, you know? Uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's not necessary to use the B. I like music that, that has been... No, 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 no. Yes, yes. I like music that is... Mm -hmm. Yes. That is relax, relaxing. That is relaxing. Yes, that is relaxing to my ears. Yes, I like to listen to music that is very uh, enjoyable. Yeah. Okay. Next, next, one more, one more, one more, one more. I like, I like, I like friends. I like friends that say the truth. That say the truth. Wow. Powerful, Miss Sophia. Okay. I, I like the truth in my face. <laughs> <laughs> I like friends that say the truth in my face. Okay. That was dedicated or no? I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Hey guys, nice experience. Like Thank you for this. Have a good conversation. A good conversation, yes. Good talking, talking time. Good talk off. Good mm -hmm. talk off. Nice experience. How did you feel during this class, Noemi? How did you feel during this first class? I feel good. Uh, I am sleeping. <laughs> You're sleepy. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, sorry about that. Oh my. What did you learn today, Sophia? What did you learn today? Mm. Relative pronouns. Yeah, about talking about using the relative pronouns. Okay, guys, I want to say thank you for your attention. Thank you for connecting to the class and I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow at 8 p.m. All right. Okay. Thank you, Richard. Have a good night. You too. Rest good. See you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Sleep well. You too. Be safe. Bye.